From day to night, this area feels completely different. Oh, wait, hold up. I think he gives us a shard if we do this. And then I can just complete it. Merciful Maker. Please. Please. <laughs> no. Sir, I, I know it is not a matter fit to thrust upon a passing stranger, but please, I ask only that you listen a while. Just a short while. Thank you, sir. Go on. This child is... is my son. Was my son. His heart stopped not a few hours past. Mm. Always weak, his sweetheart, since he was but a babe. I had long known he would not live long, but to see it, to watch him slip from my grasp, I am left with naught but rage at my impotence. Fain to try any means that I might to bring him back, I look to magic, even curses, anything to bring him back to me. I know it for madness, but still I hear. Pray, accept thee, sir, the first of those stones. I bought from a merchant my son and I passed in our travels. He spoke of a powerful magic within it. Gather rocks such as this together, he said, and even the dead shall wake. Not that I am one to blindly believe in such tales, mind. Yet still, I thought there no harm in trying. And so I searched. But by the time I found a second, the whole pursuit rang hollow. It is a vain hope to seek immortality in such trinkets, I know. I felt a fool for having ever believed it. A smithy, I should think. Except I have a wake stone now because of you, man. So I'll use it to resurrect your son. Because I'm a nice guy. I mean, we were still here, so. Father, I. Mm -hmm. Words cannot express my thanks, sir. I owe you more than I can ever hope to repay. You've returned my son to me. It is the Maker's work you do, sir. The world is truly blessed to have you, Arisen. Mm. I dare say we'll have use for such a power in our journeys to come. True enough. True enough. Alright, now, we have a more important quest to do. It's not a good place to try to jump from. Here we go. It must be somewhere nearby. Hey Pip, stop running. No, no. My mind is made up. Now stop chasing me. Just leave me be. And you're still running. Boy is shy. Let's speak with him again. <laughs> so quiet. We'll find you. I will find you. Hey, don't get in the way, man. Could have knocked your crate over. Then we all would have been sad. Oh, sorry. 
Sorry. We must seize young Pip as one would a foe, ere he gives us the slip. Hmm. Is a barber shop. This time he didn't even bother to talk to me. He's like, oh shit, he's coming. <laughs> Get back here, Pip. This will be difficult. This must be an alehouse. Sorry. Soaked in water. I just figured I was gonna start dying from the brine there. Alright, if he's running around in the same pattern, though, I should be able to catch him. I'm helping you out too there, Sir Robin, just because you're right there next to me, so you better appreciate these. <coughs> yeah, we can go this way. Where do we go now? Actually, be coming back soon. was just waiting around for me. Let's unequip all the non-essentials. I am not stripping down into my underwear. So that'll make me look even more like a creep. At least with my normal clothes, I still look normal. Gotcha. Little runt. You don't give up, do you? And I was taught that Arisen were friends of the weak. Oh, what does it matter? Even I can, and any who cross border will find work hard to come by. And father isn't like to stand against one so powerful. What choice do we have? Well, so be it. I dare say I won't miss that pigsty of a home besides. Now, if there's nothing else, 
Pray leave me be. Now we need only convince Sarah. All right, I gotta put back on my clothes now too. Cause I am not running around naked for the rest of this thing. Pray tell where might Sarah be. There's Jasper. Where is she? Should leave the city or something? Also, why is someone still back here? Is that you, Sean? Who among you is? It seems my wife and child are as yet undecided. I'll not press off. No doubt you were filled with fear. First off, only your wife is undecided, and I don't know. Oh, there she is. It's not the last we'll call upon. It would be madness to stand against Forneval, considering my husband's position. To say nothing of our son. Make us, save us. What shall we do? Like, have you decided? It would be mad. Make. All right. Well, it is nighttime, so. Wrong menu. Sit outside long enough, now something's happening. Oh, look at this guy being shady as all fuck. Too close, he's bound to run. And if we get too far, we're bound to lose him. So, you know, sneaking around is not exactly good either because of the fact that we're both wearing armor. Hail, Ahoyzel. Out for a walk to clear your head as well? Else on some manner of watch? I hear the streets have emptied since the dragon's coming. I often wonder what this place was like before. Would my own country grow so bare should the worm strike? Homes left empty as the people flee to safety. But forgive me. I am keeping you from your watch. Another time, Arisen. Huh. Guess I did get a little too close. Still out there? Alright, yeah, he's over there. Again, I have to be careful. I don't want him to catch his eye on me. Already happened once, which was a nice touch. I didn't realize he was a foreigner before. Why are you just knocking on the door, you idiot? 
There's no one in there that's gonna answer. Seriously. Sometimes these pawns are just weird as all hell. Hello. Why are you dressed down? And you have a name that works yes. with it to boot. Please tell me though, at least that your fucking uh, armor is up to par. And is at the very least level three. Because otherwise your master is a fucking psychopath. And a king shamer. Apparently she has the silver chest piece, which is dragon forged, the silk lingerie, which is gold forged, holy crap. Ancient circlet, dragon forged. Ancient bangles, dragon forged, dark over knee boots, silver forged, mahogany cape, silver forged. Okay, well, that's not as bad then, I guess, but still. I mean, people like what they like, so. I'm even bothering to look at the pawn, dude. Just go in. He doesn't like you flirting. I bid you a good day. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Let us tell the innkeeper. What business could Madeline have with that knight? And in secret, what's more? Oh, when it comes to Madeline, who freaking knows? Why am I suddenly crouched in a ready position to fight? Why is Moon Moon suddenly crouched in a ready position to fight? Hmm. I hear you've become, uh, what was it? Uh, arisen. Important, aren't you now? Such a post must come with benefits, hmm? Gold and jewels and the like. You'll find not but the finest wares here. No, oh, nothing else to say? What about your secret visitor? <laughs> Alright, whatever. Anyways. Find not but the fine thank you very much. Madeline's a very strange character. Oh, and she totally likes uh this chick isn't wearing pants. And is that the one chick I ran into earlier? Yeah, it's gotta be. And there's candy again, I think. Whatever. Let's turn in our information. Let us tell the innkeep of what we've seen. Subtitle says R. Smith, though. As expected of a residential area, he's much more quiet. Indeed. Oh, it's you. Mason told me to expect you. If you have a message, I could relay it. The night then, is it? Fine then. I'll pass the word along. Mm -hmm. 
We've done our part. The rest falls to Mason and his accomplices. That's true. May as well sleep till morning. That'll give Sarah enough time to decide. Nothing on the bounty board. Have your pick. What will it be today? Maybe I'll also see if there's anything I can deposit or I want to deposit. Maybe. I remember one of them's randomly carrying a uh, freaking weapon. Yeah, there we go. What will it be today? Have your pick. Any you like. What will it be today? Understood. Let us rest. Are your travel preparations complete? Usually it's Sean that talks. That's what we're looking for. That's Pip. We'll learn there she from is. Shop selling weapons and sundries within. You have the maker's patience, sir, and I thank you for it. I've made up my mind. Though it twists my heart to breaking, we are in no place to defy Fornival's will. I am my husband's wife in all things. Pray, tell him I will follow whatever path he chooses. Sarah and Pip have been persuaded. It is time to see Jasper. Mm hmm. Well, I, I am indeed, Stefan. Wait, where the hell is Jasper? Keep pressing the wrong button. Okay, seriously? First I couldn't find Sarah, now I can't find Jasper. It's usually supposed to be right here. Who the hell are you? We can take on curatives and other supplies for our journey here. <laughs> Nothing new, eh? Hey, Jasper, why don't you show your face for a change? Ever a pleasure. I've been at my wandering a year now. All around Gradzis. Seems something's lost or loath to be found anew. Hmm? Ah, pay it no mind. Idle muttering, friend. Now, let us talk of business. You'd be a fool not to have a look at my wares. I mean, all my shit's Dragonforged, so it's fine. I just need some Azure Dragon Scales. I need at least one. And I could try to clone it. <laughs> hmm. Mistletoe Circlet? I didn't even realize that was a thing. Should have paid attention to what she had. Hmm. 
Oh yeah, there's my Griffic victory that was Dragonforge. Why do I have a rusted shield? Hmm. <coughs> I don't remember getting a black freakish claw, but I guess I did. I'm not gonna skip up to level three by doing that. Yeah, that's my new Griffin victory. Just suddenly the theme song for Berserk 1997 just came into my head. Probably because of the fact that, you know, Dragon's Dogma and Dark Souls both take inspiration from Berserk. And those are games I tend to play a lot. Though, honestly, if I could say which one I like better, I'm gonna say Dragon's Dogma every time. And that's probably only because of the fact that freaking Dark Souls tends to be uh, annoying in the fact that you have to die every fucking time you play the game. At least with Dragon's Dogma, A, it's got a real story to it. And when I say real story, I mean like you actually get some amount of uh, understanding from what's going on. Whereas Dark Souls, it's more about the action and... Well, I mean, there are stories, obviously. You gotta read, like, the equipment and everything that you get. But otherwise... It's not gonna cost much, of course. Why is it that the Anel Tooth is only zero gold? I'm sorry, how the fuck does that work? Even the Rusted Shield... Why is it that Anel stuff has zero gold? Does he just not like Anel equipment? Is that why? In which case, that's kind of a fucking asshole thing to do, man. <sighs> Why doesn't he want that one? I'm sorry, why do we get the option to zoom or rotate? We're in a fucking selling menu. I don't understand this. No. Let us talk of business. Pray, call again soon. Alright, uh, that should have been enough time. Jasper, are you here? No, he's not. Where the fuck could he be? An armorer, I believe. You'd believe correct. The Pawn Guild stands ahead. Who the hell are you? Gathering place for my hand. Are you wearing the Philosopher's Robe? Yeah, you're totally wearing the Philosopher's Robe. Hmm. I suppose the merchants have need of open space to ply their trades. Probably. What kind of... It's, what is this? I wanted to say that it might have been great swords, but... No, they're saws. The door is closed. Why not say the door is locked? Because clearly the door is closed, and clearly I want to open the door. Silly people. Words cannot express my thanks, sir. I owe you more than I can ever hope to repay. You've returned my son to me. Tis the maker's work you do, sir. The world is truly blessed to have you. Arisen. 
Are you gonna talk, dude? A man can get a notion of the size of an army by the count of the arms they buy. Hmm. What is up with people liking to have their characters dressed up in bikinis all the time? You can summon pawns as necessity. I'm sorry, that is such a stupid question to be asking. You, I know exactly why, because they want to make them look cool. Except for when it's applied to lullies, then I'm a bit concerned. Alright everyone, put your grasses on. Gonna have to find something to do while we wait for Jasper to spawn in. There we go, let's collect some more bugles, because we're going to need them. Oh yeah, that's right, if I recall, there's a mission that actually gets you a lot of them. This looks interesting. No trespassing. Already too late. So many war bugles already. Alright, Sean, I'll give them to you. Too late. I'll take that. Do mind your behavior inside, Master. A slight might see you arrested. <sighs> Screw using ladders to get down. Just fall down into the pit, you'll be fine. To put your grasses on, nothing will be wrong. <laughs> oh, that, I'll, I could just give that to... Autumn, because she uses the bow, so she should consider using them. Maybe she does, and I just never notice. Ow. I actually hurt myself. Well, I trust. Um, I just fell off a roof. I don't think I'm well. Hey, you don't need to repeat me, you know, Autumn. Does, like, Autumn not care that I'm carrying her? Let's see, there's Pip. And there's Sarah. Are you struggling now? Alright, I'll put you down. <laughs> Jasper, why have you broken and can't get up? Alright, well, let, let's try teleporting out of this city real quick and see if that works. Flag getting in the way. I just want to find the bunnies.
All right. Any more bunnies? Or rabbits, I should say. They're, they're called Have rabbits. I don't actually remember what the difference between a rabbit and a bunny is supposed to be. I'm pretty sure they're the same thing. There's another bunny. Goblin! The crags cast shadows to hide all night. I will protect you, Arisa. Stay ready. Stop the face fire! Are you all right? I am now. Ah. All right, let's try teleporting back. Let's see if Jasper's decided to show up like a good person. Sarah and Pip have been persuaded. It is time to see Jasper. Support crystal what knows. meaning do you suppose those stones hold? You guys know these things. Why do you ask the same freaking questions? It's as if you've been programmed to say nothing else. No, no, it's fine. Eh. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, dude. Who among you is seen? Hmm. If what you say is true, sir, I have my family's support. However, something of the matter troubles me. If we abandon our home to Fornival, he'll lend no support while we search for another. Without funding, we've no way to secure new lodging, nor to live. Might you aid us, sir? I know it madness to ask such of the Arisen, yet I've nowhere else to turn. That it comes to this shames me beyond measure, but I pray you, show us mercy. I got the funds. Hmm. As my family consents and expenses are covered, I've no cause to gainsay the decision. Fie unfornable for this. Someday he'll face the Maker and be made to stand for a host of ills. He can purchase the land we trod, but I'll be hung and damned before I give him favor. No doubt you were filled anything. with fear with and awe, with trepidation, with despair. I'm mm -hmm. because... Jasper can just shut up on his little speech. We've already heard it once before. Oh, we've technically heard it a million times before. Doing well, are you? What news arisen? They agreed to leave. Wonderful. Requesting your aid was indeed the proper course. Now, the land may be sold without delay. You have done me a great service this day. I pray that this is but the beginning of a long and prosperous partnership between you and I. Any rarities to sell? I'll pay you handsomely. Well, you got some stuff that's good to sell and to buy, too. I mean, it looks nice on Sean and everything, it's just, uh, it's not that capable as of yet. And plus, I like to keep everyone kind of wearing the same set, which also brings me to the question as to why I haven't tried to, uh, Dragon Forge the cape yet. Any rarities to sell? Right then. Certainly a queer request for an arisen, yet it is completed nonetheless. Hmm. Not sure I understand what you mean by that word. Who among you has seen the dragon? <laughs> Who's Sorry, dude. I was not trying to do that. I don't want to mess around with stuff in. Tis not the last we'll call upon this in, are we? These last years, hey. Duke Edmund seems Stop to be it. Drunk. Have your pick. Any you like? What will it be what today? What are you doing?
What will it be today? Sean's got the room. We'll make him carry all those. I forget why it is. I would even want to have 60 skulls. No, not what I meant to press. Okay, so I got a lot of random side quests to do. I could talk to Sir Maximilian, but... Hmm. Beyond those gates lies the Duke's castle, I'd warrant. This is a place quite restful to my kind. You can summon pawns as necessity demands here at the Pawn Guild. You know what? I think I am going to end the stream here. I've been trying to decide if, um, if I wanted to do that or not. Uh, a lot of times passed, so I probably won't watch anime tonight. Uh, I will probably stay on the game for like another hour or so just doing some of these side quests to get them out of the way and uh, Yeah, with the guild, sir? No business with the guild Barnaby don't interrupt my outro But otherwise though, I've been having a fun time playing this game again I hope that everyone who watches this whether it will be the actual edited footage that will go up on YouTube for a change or the uh, stream itself have enjoyed if you have, be sure to do the usual accolades, like, comment, share, subscribe if you're new, follow me on Twitch if you haven't already, and if you didn't like this, like, not gonna make that much of a difference to me. So thank you all so much for watching, I'll see you next time. Peace out, Spartans.